Bonsoir to Le Monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europe Universalis 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with France. And coming off the back of a couple of wars, probably going to try and be relatively peaceful. By which I mean we're going to attack these two countries. Looks like they're mostly allied to each other, so we don't need to worry about involving. Yeah, no Casas Belly. Don't need to worry about involving Spain or Brazil or Britain or anyone like that. So if we just set them going. Royal marriage from Bohemia. That is fine. to the state. I would love the money. But I feel like we should keep our prestige up. Yeah, gonna keep the prestige up. Hoping that we'll start to accumulate money anyway because we're about to finish our missionary work, finally. Oh, good grief, yeah, we're gaining tons of money. In fact, I might not worry about a diplomatic reputation as much and go to a plus two advisor here. I want to be trying to get plus three advisors throughout where possible, but yeah, and we need to pay off these debts. Right, brilliant. Progress. What is it we're doing? I think we're building that manufactory, so that's fine. Great. What else do we need to worry about? <laughs> so much. We need to worry about so much. But I think it's mostly going fine, so we'll probably just keep an eye on our spy networks. Possibly start getting claims on the Holy Roman Empire just and Brazil as well, just in case okay Okay, so Florida's attacking people themselves, which is good. An uprising coming in Navarre and Zakaya, which we already have. Yeah, that's perfect. Already got an army nearby. Good point about Dahomey actually, it would be very useful to get this province. That's definitely worth thinking about. Spy network there. It just allows us to join up our two bits of West African land. Okay, let's pause. Avignon. Oh. <laughs> Provence has already dealt with them. Excellent. Alright, we've fulfilled a mission. That's probably the manufacturers. Yep. Brilliant. Ton of money for doing that mission. Which is awesome. So let's embrace manufacturers immediately. And we've also, because this mission has been unveiled, we'd already done this one anyway. Imperial conquests. So great. Improvement. Manufacturers embraced. <laughs> I've 
a good start today. A lot of stuff going right. Okay, brilliant. So we've got a foot foot holding Canada again. Now we're going to ignore that and focus on Brazil. Because I'm really worried about the state of Brazil, which is why we want to attack these nations and I'm going to do these two colonies if we have time. I don't know if we do. But it might allow us to at least have a Brazilian nation. Realistically, we're going to have to fight either Great Britain or Brazil and try to take some land from them. So we do need to start moving some troops over. From where is the big question. But our newly improved navy is finished, so that's good. I suppose the obvious place is probably Great Britain. Got a while before the Cornish separatists rise up at least. Also captured a light ship somewhere. But that's fine. Deal. It's never going to be perfect. Why do we not have an apple? Probably should have. So while this army is down in South America, we may need to pull double duty with the French army take Great Britain as well. I suppose I could bring the African one over instead, but the problem is Africa's quite a way away from France as well, whereas if we have our ships nearby we can probably put down rebellions without too many issues. We've got here, and that's fine. We can do that. Hopefully we'll get another one soon. I'm not going to do anything about those pirates for now, even though it's a bit annoying. I'm going to have to make a few um, little navies just to put down pirates. Filled in the state, which is good. Access from Burgundy, I do not particularly mind. Although we could really do with attacking Burgundy at some point. Right, now this is going to be interesting. Oh no, it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad at all. Let's... Actually, they're not that damaged. I'm going to go get the rest of the army. Speaking of which, actually, we've got enough for a claim. More than enough for a claim. So that is on Tiguar, I think that's these guys. Yeah. That's alright. I'm gonna claim on them. Which is great. Colony being built there, that's good. General, I'm just gonna send these guys back out to protect Brazil because they're not moving and it's annoying. That bug again. Okay, great. 
Okay, now this is interesting because I was thinking I wanted to build a colony here, but I can't until that colony's finished. So, because we won't be able to protect any of you others. Do I just build another one there, or do I go ahead with Australia? I might be better off just building one in one of these areas. So because I think there's more room to expand in Canada. Uh, let's repay it if we can. Let's do a Cascadian colony. And we don't need to make any calls, we're fine. Oh. Yeah, we can make a state, but that doesn't cost us anything. Right. Okay, so in theory, we're now ready to attack these two nations. But we should probably let the manpower recover of the ships and stuff a little first. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And we only have one loan, so that's something. Military idea. Morale of navies. Not complaining. Let's do that. We may want to focus on technology after this, though. Not too fussed about the insult. I should really probably be insulting them back for the power production. But never mind. Right, Australia has moved forward. We really ought to be exploring a bit, actually. But a little bit busy right now. Need to get this attack on the way. But we'll do some exploration in a little bit around Australia. If I land you here, move you over here. Okay, let's just pause while we do this. Potiguar is the ally, that's good. Why do I not have a Cassus Belly? Because I completely forgot to actually fabricate the claim. Just difficult. Okay, so let's run the clock on a little, make sure we've actually got it. I'm just going to pause because I want to make sure that we definitely get our troops in before they can escape. So it looks like. What's going on there? I didn't tell you to move. Oh, I've got the wrong navy. That's why. Assuming they're still protecting trade in Brazil and I haven't just messed them up by moving them. Just in case I have, let's just give them that order again. But I think they're fine. Cool. I'm actually surprised that they're not moving out of the way. They often do wander off into the country when you attack them, which is why I was so keen to prevent that from happening. Right, let's split this and move these guys over here. Even though I'd forgotten, of course, we've got colonial nations helping us anyway. Certainly navally. Yep, there's Antilles. But I think that should be it. Yeah, it's just these two. So it's literally just wait for the castles to fall. That being the case, let's just check. One that likes us least is French California. That's annoying. <laughs> Can't be helped though. Okay, that's 
a good start. In fact, we could actually get them now because our war was with those guys. So we've now annexed them. We're going to have a bit of a fight on our hands, unfortunately, keeping these areas until the colonial nation comes into existence. And that's if we're actually able to make this into a colony and Brazil don't breed us to it, which they may. We will have to see. This is um, a little unusual. Unconditional surrender. I think that basically means we can demand almost anything we want. Okay, I'm going to protect the colony. Nope, we need to make it a core first. So basically, we need to get this to five provinces. So it'll form a colonial nation and then we can kind of subsidize them and leave them to their own devices. But until then we're probably going to have to dedicate this army to protecting them. Which is unfortunate but can't be helped. So I'm going to move this navy back over here. In case of uprisings in Great Britain. Okay, so we... Diplomatic move... Okay, so we appoint new diplomats, or we try to improve our relations. I'm not sure there's much point in improving relations with Holland, because we're probably going to be invading them. So, let's just get the diplomatic power. So we do want to be making sure we have suitable claims on the various people. I think Brazil would be a great place to have claims on. We are near maximum administrative monarch power, okay. In that case, let's... we can't actually boost our stability either. Okay, in that case, let's make Paris a little better. That should be enough to move it down a bit. We must be quite ahead of time because we've embraced manufactories now. So yeah, we're ahead of time in everything but military. On the plus side, once we get the constitution, we can get another national idea. And that will give us somewhere else we can put our monarch points. In any case. Right, no, that's good. Colonies. Spy networks being improved make some claims in Dahomey might even be able to attack them with just this one army we're on the military tech 18 we're on 20 yeah we're still ahead Ooh, these guys are way behind I do have a few allies, which is worrying. Moving, aren't they? Okay, so we've probably had this before. Um, I'm basically going to keep them happy and lose mercantilism. I don't like it, but it's more important to keep our colonies on board. Lost a bunch of truces, that's good. Right, I think we've got too much diplomatic, actually too much diplomatic and administrative, so I'm going to improve Paris in both ways. <laughs> Keeping these high, but uh, we don't want to waste any, 
so development in Paris is always worth having. Gives us a better chance of being the starting place of another institution. And the next one will be enlightenment. Actually, we need to build universities. So let's pay our final debt. So yeah, the enlightenment, I believe, will happen in a place with universities, an old place with universities. So it's a lot like a manufactories in that respect. Okay, we only have one plus three advisor, not a very useful ability, unfortunately. Missionary strength, just when we don't need missionaries. Hmm. I suppose we'll get our inflation down a bit. Prestige is probably more important, though. I might go for the plus one yearly prestige, even though it's... We really would rather have the monarch points. Anyway. Let's summon the diet. We've got Farm Estate, which is good. Northern Chile, not keen right now, and a textile manufactory. Okay, I think we did the pastas last time, so maybe we should do the bourgeoisie this time. What are we on? Loyalty, 54, 44, 49. There's not a huge amount in it. Okay. Ah, they've beaten us to it. Right, okay, that is going to cause us a problem. We're probably going to have to attack Brazil. Or Great Britain, or someone. Still Papal State. Well, it looks like if we attack Great Britain, we don't have to deal with Spain. So I think we're going to be looking at Great Britain again. Right, awesome. In which case, our spy network that's underway is the right thing to do. Uh, Ryan Marriage from Scotland, happy with that. Anyway, Montpellier. He's a manufacturer. Where is Montpellier? Down here? Down here. So we're a little less concerned about manufacturers now. I do definitely want to build some universities. So we certainly won't want one in Paris. We want one in London, except we can't build one in London, so maybe we should do development in London next time we've got too many monarch points. Because I have a feeling that we need eight more development to build another building. And I don't really want to destroy one again. We also could do with upgrading our castles, because castle technology has moved on a fair bit. Not quite at the top. And really, when you've got a castle, you want to be able to rely on it. And at the moment, they're probably not doing it very much. Now let's do the one in London, because it's our only castle in Great Britain. Okay, cool. Well, I think I know what we're doing next episode, anyway. <laughs> That's not good. At the same place, get the same thing. That's a bit unfortunate, really. It's the area I perpetually call Easter Island. Colony expansion, yes, I would very much like to do that, especially for 30 ducats. I need to pay attention to this because we could lose our colony. I think we should step in. In a big way. Good. That is 
god, I need a diplomat back. Urgently, really. French California. Okay, we're fine. I don't you remember we um, we did lose our colony in Canada. I'm not particularly keen to have the same thing happen here. Oh, French Columbia. Actually, they might be all right. We might be able to just give them a subsidy or something. On the other hand, if we can declare war, that might be a good time. Don't have a Casas Belly. But I can enforce peace. And that will actually cause war if they don't make peace. So, let's try that. Right, I don't think we want to go for this. I think we want to hold out for the actual technology this time. Oh, we do need to call these actually, because we conquered them and didn't colonise them. There we go. Let's go to the missionaries and fine. Let's see how this is going. I might... Oh no, I can't. <laughs> it takes forever for diplomats to travel sometimes. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be going for <laughs> diplomatic ideas next. Right, you guys have suffered horribly, so why don't we build you up a little with this spare monarch power. There you go. And I also want to bring the war galleon together with the rest of his navy. Court painter, I would love to hire him. Have a lot of money these days. Right, enforce peace. I'm not going to accept, I don't care. So, yeah, so basically, I told the Inca that they had to make peace with French Colombia. They have refused, so we are now all at war with them. Which is brilliant. That's basically, I don't want to lose the colony. So. I'm going to start an attack at this side. Because these are all the Inca, to be fair. They're quite powerful. But their military tech is way behind ours, so I think we should be fine. I don't know what chances they might have had against French Columbia, but against us, I think they're doomed. Which is good, because we need to make more of a presence here. Okay, we need to make more castles bellies. However, now we've got a diplomat back, let us send a gift. I just want to give them a bit of a better chance while we're getting our troops around. Yeah, we should have enough up here to complete the colonial nation. Our spy has been caught. That's unfortunate. Not France, the homie. So, fabricate claim. We definitely want this land. 
because it will bridge the gap and allow our African army to go the whole range here. And then I'm going to stop building the spy network. Okay, back to the Inca. Right, let's make a start. Let's send this ship back for the rest of the army. Might have uprisings coming. Actually, it doesn't look we do urgently. Is that something? <laughs> really need to form some more colonial nations. Speaking of which, I've got a colonist free, I think, because that one finished and we didn't know what to do with it. So let's start in Canada again. Seeing as we've got an extra diplomat, I might start spying on Milan again. Because I think they've lost all of our claims on Milan. And you never know, might come in useful. Speaking of which, let's make some claims on Brazil. I'd like to join these two nations, these two provinces together. But the main thing is to make a colonial nation, so we only actually need one more province from them. And, oh no, not military tech yet, constitution. So with that, I think... I'm going to go diplomatic ideas, because we really could do more diplomats at this point. <laughs> so it's generally a choice between diplomatic and influence. Diplomatic is universally brilliant, basically. Uh, influence can sometimes be good when you have a lot of vassals, which to be fair we do, but I just really was feeling the need for more diplomats this time. Constantly being hampered by not having enough. So yeah, with that in mind, how about we do a bit of spying on somebody else? If I can just decide who. I'm a little curious about this area. I'm very small. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow us to take Dahomey, is the problem. So it's not as useful as I would like. How are we for Burgundy? Oh, yeah, we've got that claims on Burgundy. Might just start spying on Austria. So we've probably lost all our claims there, and they're likely to get dragged into most of the wars. With the chief exception of Milan. Entirely decided whether to keep these as two armies or combine them into one big one that the Inca can't possibly defeat. I might keep them as two simply because they're still mostly fighting up there. So we can cover more ground with two. Yeah, I probably should have paid more attention when the other people declared war on French Canada. So I'm quite lucky this time because it didn't happen to be particularly occupied. And even had an army in South America. might try and take some of these lands because one of the problems with Peru as a colonial area if we've got them you tend to pretty much have to conquer some other land I think there's only these ones which are free to be colonised so all of this is La Plata so it's a good opportunity basically 
even though we don't have any claims, we may be able to take them anyway, and if we can take three, then we can form our version of French Peru, or whatever it'll be called. And that'll be another colonial nation. Ooh. Well, there's an opportunity to make mincemeat out of the Inca Navy. So yeah, because the port's there, they should come up into this space once we take this piece of land. Uh, merchant or manufactories... Well, because we're doing diplomatic ideas, let's go with diplomatic power. Because we probably need it more. Conversion, Scotland's embraced manufacturers, good for them. But yeah, as soon as we take this, these guys will have to set off and we will probably utterly destroy them. With our new semi incompetent navy. <sighs> Still making some inroads, though. Of on the plus side, there's no danger of them actually winning the war now. As they'd have to defeat us, it's not enough to defeat our colony. Okay, about Conquista though, we can't actually go there. We can go here. Looks like this has changed a bit in the last patch. I don't remember having this many provinces up here. The other advantage is that of course all the other colonial nations will get involved. Although we don't have many in South America. Hopefully some will come over from other areas to help. And on the plus side, if we can take some land, we may end up with a slightly better presence in South America. Yeah, they've got some decent sized armies up here actually. On the plus side... The lower military tech should mean that we can beat them, at least if we band our armies together to do so. So I'm not going to worry, it's just going to be nice and methodical. And well, since they're ignoring us, I might split this army up even further to cover more ground. The Navy's been prepared, so I'm going to set off and harry the coast and make a bit more money. Well, blockade them, I suppose, really. <laughs> Second claim on Brazil. first claim on Milan as well, just in case our spy gets caught. Uh, let's go with them. Gives us access to this country, Padua, Tech theoretically. I don't suppose we could vassalise them, could we? Oh no, they're part of the Empire. Fair enough. I'm just thinking, I think we um, are last diplomatic idea gave us an additional diplomatic relation so we've got room for another vassal in theory or another ally vassals are more fun though
use this? The Inca. Interesting. So I want to give up already. No, oh, not surprised actually. It looks like uh, French Columbia is taking land back. We do have quite a big army. I mean, the main thing is how much land can we take? I kind of feel like. Are they our only enemies? Not quite, but yeah, kind of feel like we could do a lot better. We might be better off just keeping this going for a bit. And combine these again, move them up the coast, and then when we hit that castle, I might combine them into one big army. Just to be on the safe side. Still not really happy about how big those armies are, though. Well, I think we can keep going a little bit longer, at least. The war score's increasing. In fact, I might even send you for the vessel straight away. So the castles tend to have a bigger effect on war score. Diplomat now. Very powerful idea group. Diplomatic ideas. And we've lost our air. That's not good. I will lose. Ooh, I might lose prestige. That's dangerous. Oh, we've got a new one. That's good. Must have had enough royal marriages to deal with it. You really don't want to be without an heir as a Christian nation. Oh, the dolphin is um, 18 as well. Must have had a brother already. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got some armed forces heading down to make our lives miserable. Can we cut them off in time? Probably not. Fiddly. Could I actually get some land? I think I could. Potentially quite a lot of land if I'm willing to keep the army around. So yeah, although it's tempting to take like a ton, probably safer not to, really. But I've taken Cusco, which is their actual capital. Mainly because I figured it probably had a castle. and that will hopefully allow us to form a new colonial nation who can then look after the land we've captured and that'll be great and then we'll just need to worry about La Plata down there well in Brazil obviously which we're also very worried about but yeah I think what I'll probably have to do is have one army <laughs> up here in Brazil to look after those areas with the ships and one army down here to deal with the inevitable uprisings that are going to happen down here. I mean, even though I don't feel like we took very much land compared to what we could have taken, I think we're quite likely to have uprisings anyway because we've still taken a fair bit. We didn't have any claims to it. So at least until we have a colonial nation, we're probably going to need constant vigilance. And that's going to go for up here as well, so it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. We'll persevere, and at least it's a step in the right direction. In your factory, aren't we? 
speaking of. Matamba, why do we care? We don't. And the Dongo is going to deal with it themselves. Good work. Could probably get an army there if it was an issue. And it might be worth it because noble rebels might be like, we don't want to be vassalised. Looks like our spy has been caught in Austria. I'm probably not going to pull them out. And it looks like we had a bunch of claims anyway. Do we have permanent claims? Or have we not just not lost them? Maybe I will pull them out then. Okay. Trade good changed. No big deal. So, okay. I think that's not too bad, to be fair. I wasn't expecting the income war. But... It will hopefully do us a big favour, even though at the moment our Great British Army is a bit trapped. And a bit unfortunate, because we're probably going to be making war on Great Britain next. But assuming that they can't bring Spain in, hopefully we can move our French army over to Great Britain. Oh, I mustn't underestimate the Papal State. It looks like the Ottomans will be willing to join in, actually. So, one thing we should probably do is start making claims on them. Hmm. Yeah, we should help with that one. A bit difficult for Provence to get there. Well, maybe not. Actually, they've probably got free pass through our lands anyway, haven't they? In fact, if they don't, they probably should have. Alright, they don't need it. Cool. But, we like Provence, so we can help them. <sighs> right. So yeah, that's brilliant. That's actually pretty good. So we've got diplomatic ideas on the way. So we've now got five diplomats instead of three. We've got room for another diplomatic relation which would be good we've got some holes in french peru so we're hopefully on the way to making another colonial nation there which is one of the more difficult ones to make a colonial nation and we've at least got a plan for improving our status in brazil and take lands from either brazil or great britain should be enough to form a colonial nation finally we're slowly building up over here. We probably need to watch Cascada. And at some point, we need to get back to Mexico. We don't seem to have a lot of competition there. The biggest danger is probably going to be these guys attacking. And we're finally making headway in Australia. So, yep, on the whole, that looks pretty good. Reasonably happy with that. So, yeah, leave it there this time. And um, thank you for watching. See you next time.